If you've been wondering what my website design process is from start to finish, then keep on watching. Hey everyone, my name is Megan. If you have not been here before, thank you so much for being here. I'm super excited to jump into today's video, which is actually one of my top viewed videos that I filmed a couple years ago now, but that is my website design process. Now, since that last video was posted, I have actually changed the service that I'm providing my clients, which is now called Website in a Week. So if you've been to my channel before, you've probably seen a lot of my vlogs or a lot of my behind the scenes of how I make a website in a week actually happen. But in today's video, I wanna talk you guys through the steps from start to finish in terms of what I do when I onboard the clients and what I do when I hand off the website to them. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. The first step in my website design process is the discovery call. So my process right now of getting those clients is having them fill out an inquiry form on my website. It's my contact form and it has all the questions I need to know about what they do, what service they're interested in, the start date, all those questions that are important for me to know. Then I get on a discovery call and that discovery call helps me get to know the client, helps me understand if this isn't even a good fit for us, depending on the timeline, the budget, all of that. So I like to get on the discovery call just so I can get an idea if this is a project that we can both work together on and collaborate on to make it come to life. Now, after the discovery call is when I jump into creating the proposal. My proposals do take me a little bit of time because I like to customize them and add all the things that we talked about on the discovery call into the proposal. I do have like a template where I'm able to just like plug in the packages that they're interested in, but I do like to customize it a little bit just so they feel like I really heard them in the conversation. So I do use Dubsado for the forms and my proposals and my invoicing and my scheduling. So I use Dubsado for all of this part of the process, which is onboarding them and sending those proposals and discovery calls. But the second step is creating that proposal. And I like to tell my clients that it's about 24 to 48 hours until they'll receive that. And then if they have any further questions, I'm more than happy to hop on another call with them, just leaving the door open for any questions that they may have. I also like to let my clients know that installment plans, which are payment plans, are allowed. So I like to mention that in the proposal and also on the call, because I know that website design is an investment and I wanna make sure that they're super comfortable, but then that they never feel like pressured to actually sign it. I want them to feel comfortable and feeling like they actually can move forward with the project. With Dubsado, I am able to send them that form in a link in the email and they select that package and then they are taken to the contract where I have all of the information listed out that they should keep in mind. And then once they sign the contract, they are sent to the invoice, which is where they submit the deposit. If my client submitted the deposit, they are officially one of my clients. Super exciting. It's always so fun when I see a deposit come through and when I know that I get to work with these awesome people. Time to celebrate. But once I get those clients, then I'm able to move on to the next step, which is onboarding. So the onboarding process basically involves me sending over a preparation form. Now, especially for my website in a week, it's super important that I have everything I need for that week to run super smoothly. Because it's a really quick turnaround project, it's Monday through Friday, I need to make sure that I know how I can communicate with them, the questions like, do they have copywriting for their website? Do they have the photos for the website? And with that, I give them a Google Drive link to go upload everything that they have. Now, typically on my initial call with them and the discovery process, I like to ask them if they do have a copywriter or if they wanna write the copy themselves or use the copywriter that I love to work with. And if they wanna use my copywriter, then that might affect the timeline just because I need to communicate with her and make sure that her start date is going to align with our start date. And if we need to use some placeholder copy in the meantime, I let my clients know that that is an option, but if they really want to pump in some SEO into their copy and all of that, then I highly recommend my copywriter to my clients. And that does add a little bit of a change in the process because sometimes we like to work on that first and get that and then start the design of the website. However, I really leave that up to my clients. I don't want them to feel pressured to go hire a copywriter, I'd definitely highly recommend it, especially because 
like I said, the SEO is very important in your copy, but I also want to give them the option to potentially write it themselves or maybe have my copywriter edit what they wrote. So I give them those options just so they feel comfortable with the full investment in total. So the onboarding process is a bit lengthy because I like to have them fill out that preparation form. And I also like to check in with them before the start date through the communication method that they chose. The communication methods that I allow my clients to use are WhatsApp, texting in general, or email or phone calls. Most of my clients select texting, which is totally fine with me. It actually makes it really easy during the week of working with them because I'm able to send them a quick message every time something is emailed or updated or anything like that. I find that it's like the quickest form of communication with my clients, so I truly do not mind using that form of communication. I know a lot of designers that use Voxer, which is basically like a walkie talkie where you can talk to the clients and send them audio messages, which is also great. And that's something I might be considering in the future. Okay, so now onto the next step. If your client has submitted their deposit, they filled out the onboarding form and you have everything you need to begin, when that start date comes, it's gonna feel way easier because you have all that information. But when Monday comes of the week of website in a week, that is when I kick off the designing. So Monday is my complete design day. That is where I'm going to be drawing out the framework of the homepage. I might even be offering them a simplified branding mood board, which just helps me understand like which imagery, which colors, which fonts we're gonna be using on the website if they don't already have an existing branding package. Now, if they don't have an existing branding, maybe they don't have logos, colors, any of that, that is something that I will include in the total package. And I do increase the price a little bit just to account for the branding portion, but I do typically require my clients at least have a logo. And if they don't have anything more than that, then I do require that they have me help them with the overall branding for the website. So if I'm doing the branding, like a simplified mood board, simplified colors, it would look something like this. And if they approve that, then I would jump into designing the homepage. Now I change this up sometimes. Sometimes I have an idea right off the bat, but sometimes I just need to draw it out on a piece of paper, like a simple framework of how I want the overall user experience to look in terms of what call to actions in the sections, where I'm gonna be placing photos, where I might be placing some brand elements. Drawing it out on a simple piece of paper can be super helpful mentally for when you start to go and mock that up in Figma. So I do use Figma for all of my website design mockups. I love it. I've talked about it many times, but the reason I love it is I'm able to have full creative freedom and like a blank artboard for me to create whatever it is I want the website to look like. I get the question all the time, why are you gonna go design it and not just build it out on the website platform? The reason I like to mock up my websites is because it not only allows a collaborative experience with my clients, but not only that, it's so much easier to edit on a mock-up than it is to edit an already built out site. Imagine this, you have a fully built out site and your client decides they don't like the layout or they don't like the sections placed how they are. You're gonna have to log in to WordPress, show it, whatever it is, and not only redesign that for desktop, but redesign it for mobile too. And changing the colors of the buttons, changing the sizing of that, it just takes a lot of time. And I would way rather do that on a platform like Figma, where I have design freedom to show them what it would look like, rather than having to redo the sections 50 plus times. And the other reason that I like to design on Figma first is I get to see the full perspective of the website and understand how well it flows throughout all the pages. So I like to send over the website homepage mock-up at least before 2 p.m. Pacific time. That is the time zone I'm in. And I like to send it before that time because I like to get feedback from my clients before the day ends. My clients typically know that this week of work is going to be really time consuming. And also they need to be by their phone just so they can communicate with me and let me know what edits they do and don't want. So I send that over by 2 p.m. to get all the edits and then I make those edits and jump into all of the other pages. So Monday is a very long day because I'm designing all day long. I'm mocking it up all day long. 
But what I like to do after that, which is the next step, is send them the full design mock-up on Tuesday morning. So I give myself the entire day on Monday to design the website, and then on Tuesday, they have most of the day to provide their feedback. I have found that this not only works for, well for me, it allows me to have some more time to design it. Originally, I was sending them everything by end of the day Monday, but just having a little bit of time on Tuesday morning to step away from my computer and come back to it and look at how the website looks is way less stressful. So that's what I like to do, send it to my clients and just let them know that I would love to get their feedback within the next few hours so I can start to make those changes and send it back for final approval. To make my clients' lives a little easier, I do send over a Loom video just explaining why I designed what I did, why I place things in certain places. I just feel like walking them through the design and explaining your kind of design techniques and process makes it so much easier for your clients to approve it without many edits. So I do like to send that over to them just so they can hear my thought process of how everything will work together. It's end of day Tuesday. I've gotten all the edits done and approved by my clients. Now it's time to start developing it on the website platform. Now this step is really dependent on which platform we're designing on. If they've decided they want to use Show It, then it's a little bit easier to set up the domain and the hosting. It's all within one platform. If they're going to be using WordPress, typically I would like to get that set up before this week even starts but I would like to have them, their domain and everything, all the settings change so we don't have to wait on any propagation. But with Show It, it's so fast and I will say that's one of the benefits of it. I don't have to worry about installing the SSL, they do that for me. And like I said, the hosting is really like not difficult at all. So if you feel like you're not sure which platform to tell your clients to use, I would say Show It's much more user friendly. WordPress requires a few more steps. I still love it. It's one of my favorite platforms, but it does require a few more steps. So it's important to make sure that before the week begins that you have some of those steps set up. But on Wednesday, which is the next step, I build the website. So I'm developing it. I am putting it into a functional page and a functional website. And I think people get confused sometimes on the difference between designing it and developing it. And I'm sure that there's gonna be tools in the future where you can click a button and it'll turn your website into an actual functional website from your Figma. But for now, I do like to just take each section and build it out in a platform like Show It or WordPress. And if I am using WordPress, I'm typically using a visual builder like Divi. It makes it super easy to drag and drop. And it also is easy for my clients to edit their websites in the future if they ever need to make changes. But Wednesday is a full development day. These are the days I like to just get my noise canceling headphones and get plugged in to making the website functional. Now, occasionally, if my clients have a website that maybe it requires a little more technical coding things, then I will send that to my developer who will then build it out for me literally while I sleep. So when that happens, it's really nice. I can take a step back and maybe catch up on a few other things. But typically I am doing it myself and it's a long day. Wednesday is a lot of work. But typically on the end of Wednesday is when I will send my clients the link to view their full built out website. Now at this point in the process, I might not have the mobile side of the website completely optimized yet. So I like to let my clients know that they should view this on the desktop. And then on Thursday, which is my next step, on Thursday is when I will actually make it super mobile optimized and making sure that it's responsive. I go onto my own iPhone, I go onto my boyfriend's iPhone, and I like to double check that it looks good on every device. So Wednesday and Thursday are those development days and they're also the days that I like to check in with my client and make sure that they're happy with how everything's been going. So a lot of times my clients will send a nice text message on days like these, just letting me know how real it feels and how exciting it is that their website's truly coming to life. Now the next step is making sure all the integrations are added. So if my client has an email marketing system or social media profiles that need to be linked, or maybe they want like a pop-up form or something like that, or even the contact form, 
Thursday is when I check everything. I make sure the forms are working. I add any code that needs to be added for the integrations. And I make sure that it's functioning properly and really well. And then typically on the end of Thursday, I have my clients go through and check themselves too, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. But most of the time I go through it like three to four times myself to make sure it all looks good to go. So now it is Friday and Friday is launch day. This is the most exciting part of the process. It's when all the hard work has paid off and you have a functional website to use and showcase and it's super exciting. Because of that, I like to send my clients an email or a text message in the morning, just letting them know it's launch day and to celebrate. And I also will include some graphics in the email just that they can use on social media to announce their launch and to really like celebrate it. So it's an exciting day. And that's typically when I will just run through everything again, make sure it's working well. But the last step of the process, which is on the launch day, is to film tutorials for my clients. So in the past, I would hear from clients in like a week or two weeks and they were confused on how to use their website. So I've added this to my process to make it easy for them to know how to add text, how to add photos, how to swap photos, how to add new pages, or if they're a blog, how to post a new blog. So I like to make a customized tutorial library of everything that they might need to do on their own in the future. But after I hand this off to them, I do give them a full week of support and contact with me if they have any further questions, because I know that once they log in, they might be so confused on what is what. So I want to make sure that they know how to use it and that they're super comfortable with it. So that is the full process. It's a lot of steps. It's Monday through Friday. It's a really quick turnaround service and everything happens really quickly. But I don't want you guys to think that everything is done in one week. Truthfully, there's a lot of preparation behind it. Like I said, I have that form for them to fill out that I need filled out to even make the project work. I also might have them use my copywriter and they might need branding and they might need photography. So when I talk to my clients on those discovery calls, I'm really trying to understand where they're at right now in their business, if they have anything prepared, if they need help figuring out who to talk to. I like to guide them with that. So sometimes a website in a week might not even happen for three to four months after we talk just because they need that time to prepare everything. So if you're a client watching this and you're wondering if now's the time, definitely reach out as soon as possible and you might just have great connections with the photographer I recommend or the copywriter I recommend. So I would try not to stress about figuring it all out yourself. Whichever web designer you talk to can guide you and help you. And I just feel like this process in general has helped me so much and my clients so much really stay on track with launching a beautiful website. Now, before we go, I wanted to let you guys know that I do have a course on Dubsado, which is the program I mentioned that I use for the proposals and the onboarding. And it's so helpful for any creative that wants to figure out how to set up those forms and how to automate everything so you can actually focus on the designing part. So definitely go check that out if you're interested. And I also have a WordPress web design course if that is something you are interested in learning about as well. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it so much if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would mean so much to me. But thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.